Hello I am the Teensy Touch DAW. I will help you to make some cool sounds and songs. I am an easy DIY project consisting of a Teensy 4.1, a Teensy Audio Shield, a TFT display, four encoders, four jacks, a custom PCB, a 3D printed housing, some buttons and diodes, headers, and some resistors. I have eight sequencer tracks. The first is dedicated to drums, the others are meant to be played as melodic tracks. These seven tracks are monophonic. For each track I give you eight, 16 step sequences. You can arrange the eight tracks and its clips in song mode. You can control external drum machines and synths over USB to your PC or device or use a MIDI type ATRS jack for serial MIDI connection or Use one of the internal plugins. Let's start by making a drum beat. Tap the D on the left side or use track button and button 1 to enter the drum track. On the left side you can set the desired MIDI note to be played on this lane by pressing shift button and the first encoder to change the note of the active lane. On the right side you can set one of the aids it connects with the fourth encoder and the desired mini channel with the third encoder. You can set the active steps with a touch pen, the cursor buttons and enter button or with the first two encoders. To control with encoders, move the cursor with the first two encoders and hit enter. Good. Now make a first beat. Very good. Hit the play button. Haha. <laughs> Hit the stop button. You don't hear anything because you haven't set the sequence into the song mode. Hit song and any other button to enter one of the 16 song mode pages. Hit song and the first button to enter the first page. Alternately you can also hit the S on the top left. Touch the drum lane or press enter to choose a clip with the first encoder. Good. Each rectangle stands for one bar. You can play up to 256 bars with me. Each bar can hold the values for clip number, note offset, preset number, volume. You can either play the whole arrangement or play a desired area as loop. Turn the third encoder to set the start of the loop. Turn the fourth encoder to set the end of the loop. Set the tempo with the shift end first encoder. Hit the play button again. Now you hear your drum beat boom chuck. If you still don't hear anything try to adjust the output volume on the first mixer page or in the plugin page. Select one of the melodic tracks or use track button and button 2 to 8 to enter the melodic tracks. Select an octave with the gray arrow buttons on the right or use shift and the first encoder. Set your notes on the grid. To listen to the sequence, go to song mode and set your arrangement there. Repeat this for the other tracks. Isn't that easy? If you hit save or L in song mode it will save or load the whole project. In any other page, you save or load the respective content. Isn't that awesome? If the track channel is above 16, you have chosen one of the internal plugins. Hit plugin and one of the eight track buttons where the plugin is loaded to see the plugins page. Here you can change several parameters for sound control. Some plugins have several pages. If the track channel is below 17, I have 16 mini CC controllers. Set the controller number by pressing the enter button and the equivalent encoder. The controls of each row is automatically assigned to the four encoders. Hit row button or touch the desired row to remap the encoders to the new row. If a track is too loud, hit the gray M or press mixer plus button one to three. The first page controls the volume of the tracks plugin or the velocity of the sent MIDI notes. 
You can also set mute and solo states for the individual tracks. Mixer page 2 and 3 gives you control over the effects for the internal plugins. At the moment I can play 9 instruments. A chord plugin. A raw file drum player. A one oscillator synth voice. A memory flash drum player. A raw file sample player. A second raw file sample player. A drum engine with 8 different synthesis. A one oscillator synth voice with a special filter. A string emulation with various effects. For each plugin I can remember up to 8 different presets. I will make your music shine with these three effects. A reverb. A big crusher. A delay. Connect a MIDI keyboard to the USB host port to play the plugins or connected MIDI devices directly. The MIDI channel on your keyboard connects to the correlating track number, so channel 1 selects the drum track. Channel 8 selects the last track. While the sequencer is running, you can either play along your arrangement, or, by pressing, REC, record the 16-step sequence into a last selected clip. I always listen to you, at least if you want me to. Press the sample button to enter the audio recorder. Choose a raw file to overwrite, set a good volume ratio, plug in any line source into the audio and jack, press listen and boom you hear your favorite synth. Hit the record button once to start recording immediately and again to stop the process. You may want to load a raw sampler plugin into one of the tracks load the file and play it instantly on your keyboard and pow wow. I am completely open source and also beginners will be able to read, understand and add new plugins to my code. Please refer to the manual inside my sketch for further informations. All documents are on my creator's GitHub. There is also a Discord server, where you can talk to me and my creator. The links are below in the description. I hope to meet many new people. You can just play with me, add custom plugins or add new functionalities. Thanks to Paul Stoffregan and his immense efforts for the TNC community. Thanks to Nudigate S TNC Variable Playback and Flash Loader Library. Thanks to the many other creators whose libraries I am reading. And the most thanks goes to Doc T as a personal mentor for my creator. Without him I would not have such a nice voice or even be alive. More informations about him are in the descriptions. Now go and build me.